Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. In this video today, I am going to be sharing with you the five signs that you are raising your kids in Germany. As a New Zealander who is raising my two children in Germany, I have to say that becoming a mum has been the biggest culture shock that I have experienced so far in Germany. And although New Zealand and Germany share very similar core values when it comes to raising our children, we also have very different parenting styles. And I'm going to talk a little bit about this today. And I don't want to generalize too much because I know that not all German parents are going to be like this and not all New Zealand parents are going to be like this. But overall, this is what I have experienced in Germany. Okay, so with all that being said, let's get into it. One of the signs that you are raising your kids in Germany is when you are at a playground or a play group or play date and a German mother will tell your child that they do not have to share their toy with their child. And okay, I'm going to give you an example of this because this is something that happened to me the other day and this still always shocks me a little bit. My little boy Matteo, he's two and a half and he is not very good at sharing right now. He's learning but he's not the best. And we were at the play ground he brought along his favorite truck and a little boy came over straight away grabbed Mateo's truck he was crying so my first reaction when I saw this little boy crying like most New Zealanders I said Mateo why don't you share your truck with this little boy maybe you can play together and then the little boy's mother who had seen everything that went on said to Mateo no you don't have to share your truck that is your truck and you can decide whether you want to share it or not I'm just always a little bit taken back when I see this reaction from German parents because this is not how the situation would be dealt with in New Zealand and I've talked about this before in another video I gave like an example with a little boy sharing his ball it was a similar example and this just happens all the time in Germany it's also happened Matteo has gone over to kids and started playing with their toys and the mothers will jump in and say no that is my son's toy and he gets to decide if he wants to share it honestly I get this I can understand why German parents do this and it makes total sense it's just something that I am still trying to get used to. I've noticed that many German parents are very direct and very confident in their role as a parent. They're not afraid to tell you exactly what they think and that can be kind of intimidating when you're a new mum, especially a new mum who is not from Germany. Another sign that you are raising your kids in Germany is when you start to get overwhelmed with the amount of shoes and protective weather gear you need to buy for your kids. My little girl Amelia is in her last year of kindergarten and this winter I think I had to buy her maybe eight pairs of shoes I'm not joking and she is constantly growing in Germany they take kids footwear very very seriously especially in winter time so this year for winter in kindergarten Amelia needed snow boots gum boots regular boots shoes house shoes of course sports shoes and also they do sports inside when it's really cold so she needed these kind of like gymnastics type shoes so that was seven pairs of shoes and during that winter she grew out of a couple of pair of her shoes so I think I had to buy like nine pairs of shoes all up it is serious business trying to keep up with the kids shoe situation in Germany and not only is it footwear it is protective weather gear Amelia needs a complete snowsuit and a complete rain suit and she is constantly growing so I'm just constantly constantly having to buy her all of this gear and in Germany it's kind of like there's no excuse for bad weather the kids need to have the gear to protect them from any type of weather because in Germany it snows it's rainy in winter and you know the kids still want to go out and play in New Zealand it's pretty different I know we don't have this kind of extreme weather but I feel like New Zealand kids, they can get away with wearing one pair of shoes for every single occasion and we just don't really care, you know, we don't take it that seriously. Also another thing, German parents only buy really good quality shoes for their kids, which I think is a really good thing. I also buy good quality shoes for my kids, but they can be really, really expensive. So it's a good thing that in Germany they have a lot of these children's clothing markets where you can get really good quality secondhand shoes for a a really reasonable price. Okay, so another sign that you are raising your kids in Germany is when you can confidently breastfeed your baby wherever you want without getting looks of disapproval. 
I breastfed both of my kids in Germany and I was able to do it anywhere and still feel comfortable. I would do it in cafes, I would do it on the street, you know, on a park bench. I would, I would just breastfeed my kids anywhere. It didn't matter if my kids were hungry, I would feed them. And I would always do it quite discreetly. You'd never like see my boob flop out or anything. So I would, you know, I'd do it in a very discreet way, but I wouldn't care where I was. I would breastfeed. And I see a lot of German mums doing this. I remember there would be times in Germany in those early days where my baby would be like screaming with hunger and I would just have to sit down on the side of the road like on a bench and feed my baby. I never once got a disapproving look or somebody that made me feel uncomfortable. I'd even get other German women kind of giving me a look of approval, you know, good on you for breastfeeding in public, that kind of thing. I remember being in New Zealand with Amelia when she was six months old and I just presumed it was going to be exactly the same in New Zealand as far as breast feeding and pro breastfeeding but it actually wasn't and I remember getting some really disapproving looks for breastfeeding Amelia in public. I just really appreciate the fact that Germany is so pro breastfeeding it is the most natural way to feed your baby and it shouldn't be something that is frowned upon or women shouldn't have to go and hide to feed their baby. Okay so another sign that you are raising your kids in Germany is when you are at a playground and you see a child doing something that you would consider extremely dangerous like almost life-threatening and then the other German mums around are not phased in the slightest about it they're barely even watching and honestly this was one of the hardest things for me to kind of um, get used to I've talked about this in other videos I have to bring it up again because I believe that this is a huge cultural difference between parenting in New Zealand and parenting in Germany German parents they let their children take risks and experiment and explore and by doing this I I have noticed that German kids have very, very good gross motor skills at a very, very young age. This definitely has a lot to do with the German parenting style of letting their children take risks. So I'm going to give you an example. Close to where we live, there is a playground with a really, really high fence made of cobblestone. And the kids like to climb up on this fence. They can kind of put their feet through the little gaps in the cobblestone and they climb up and they like to walk around the fence, which goes around the entire playground. This is a very high fence and I would consider this to be very dangerous like if a child lost balance they could really hurt themselves falling down except the kids in my neighborhood do it all the time they walk around this fence. My little girl Amelia she's six and she saw some of her friends climbing up on this fence and walking around and she wanted to do the same except I was the only mum that totally freaked out and said Amelia you can't do this. Amelia was really upset that she was the only kid that wasn't allowed allowed to walk around this really high fence and the other German mums were just kind of like oh it's fine you know it's not that dangerous and you know just she'll be fine and so I reluctantly let Amelia climb up and walk around this fence but in my heart I was like okay this is so dangerous I don't know whether I should be letting her do this and then I was kind of questioning myself I was like am I crazy letting her do this or am I crazy for not letting her do this because there's a group of German mothers here who are all not in the slightest bit worried about their children doing this. I'm the only one that's panicking about this and so I reluctantly let Amelia do it and she was absolutely fine. She didn't fall off and she wasn't like running along the fence. She was walking like slowly around but still I didn't feel comfortable about it and I don't know whether I should have let her. It's just it was a tough kind of situation to be in because you know Amelia was going to be the odd one out and she really wanted to do it so I don't know, I don't know where to draw the line when it comes to this kind of thing. Okay, so another sign that you are raising your kids in Germany is when you go to a swimming pool, like a public swimming pool or a lake, and you see mothers everywhere in all shapes and sizes strutting around in their bikinis and swimsuits. So they could be eight months pregnant with this huge big belly chasing around after their toddler, and they, they don't care, they're just like, I wanna have fun with my kids. I don't care that I'm eight months pregnant. Not only will you see a lot of pregnant women in swimsuits, you'll also see a lot of women postpartum in swimsuits. So maybe they've given birth like two weeks ago and they've got their tiny little baby under the arm and they do not care that they have stretch marks and that they haven't lost their baby weight. I just think this body positivity is so awesome in Germany because I think a lot of parents in other countries would refuse to get in a swimsuit if they didn't look perfect, if you know what I mean like 
if they had stretch marks or you know if they were carrying a bit of extra baby weight they would hide away rather than just get in there and play with their kids and make memories and have fun with their kids. When I was pregnant with my little girl Amelia I would never ever have gone out in public and showed my big pregnant belly off in a bikini. And I totally changed my mindset when I was pregnant with Matteo, my son. I would take Amelia to the lake, the river, the pool, and I would see all these other mums, you know, having fun with their kids, splashing around in the water, getting in there with their kids and enjoying themselves. And I was the odd one out. And then I was like, hey, I want to do that too. So I reluctantly put on my swimsuit with my huge big pregnant belly sticking out and I got in that water and had fun with my little girl. No one looked at me weirdly, no one cared and I was able to just get in there and make memories with my little girl without worrying about how I looked. So anyway guys, those were the five signs that you are raising your kids in Germany. I really hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you found it amusing. If you enjoyed it, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I would love you to subscribe to my channel, feel free to follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye!